Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Halo campaigns you can play on the 360. Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition is a love letter for all Halo fans. It's a remake, but it's the original game too. By pressing select, you can switch between the original game and the remake. And having this function not only makes it great for both nostalgia trips and playing modern titles, but it makes you realize easier what a tremendous job the developers did. I mean, the result of the remastered version is amazing. This game still is a masterpiece when you play it on the original, and when you play it with the remastered graphics, it gets even better. You can play the campaign with a friend via Xbox Live or local split screen too, which is awesome. The next one is Halo 2, which is an incredible game. First off the story, it's way more epic than the first one. And in this one, I understood what was going on. In the first one I had some problems following the story, but here everything was clear and it even cleared out parts in the story of the first game I didn't get. Oh, and the story is epic, from start to finish. Also in this game, you don't play only as Master Chief, but as the Arbiter too. I won't get into details who this guy is as I don't want to spoil the story, but just know that you play as two characters. The gameplay style is the same whether you play as Master Chief or the Arbiter, but the story parts of both characters is so cool, you you'll fall in love with the way the game plays. And Master Chief now has a voice, and he's very charismatic you'll instantly like the guy. Also in aiming I've noticed a difference. Now this is just a personal opinion. But the aiming feels less cartoony. Don't get me wrong, I like the aiming in Combat Evolved too, and I don't have a personal preference. I mean, I like both styles of aiming, whether it is the Halo 1 style of aiming or Halo 2. But in Halo 2, the reticule is smaller and the aiming is harder. I mean, it was easier to aim in Halo 1 than in Halo 2. But as I said, this is just a personal opinion. Also, Halo 2 brings some new gameplay elements like spaceship dogfights or at one point you get to drive an alien tank. So if I were to summarize Halo 2, I would say, imagine Halo 1. Did you like it? Well, then you're going to love Halo 2 as it has the same awesome gameplay but with a way better and more badass story. Halo 2 is in my opinion the best out of the Master Chief saga and the only one out of the saga I would want to replay. Oh and by the way, technically Halo 2 isn't an Xbox 360 game, it's an Xbox game. But you can play it via backwards compatibility. If you have the disc, you can slide it in your console and play it, just like a normal 360 game. Halo 3 is the follow up of Halo 2. It's the end of the trilogy. The story is not as strong as in Halo 2, but it sure is a good one. You don't play as the Arbiter anymore in the campaign, that's about the only big difference I could list. In Rust, the gameplay unfolds in a similar fashion to the other games, you shoot waves of enemies to progress in the story element, I know it sounds repetitive and in some moments you start telling yourself that all you do is fight one wave after the other, but once you progress in the story, you want to unfold more of it and ignore the repetitiveness of the campaign. Plus, each game brings something slightly new in gameplay and the, the, the only big difference within all of the games is actually the story. Halo Wars isn't an FPS, it's an RTS. I'm not the most fitting guy to review an RTS game as I'm not into them, but I've read reviews and people are very happy with Halo Wars. You can easily breeze through most of the commands with just two buttons, the interface for other more complicated commands is simple and accessible, the game requires a good deal of strategy if you play it on the harder difficulties, and just like the other Halo games, you can play the entire campaign in co-op. But on the downside, squad formation is limited. In Rust, the story is set 20 years before Combat Evolved and follows a crew called the Spirit of Fire. The cutscenes are one of the most beautiful I've seen on the 360 and the story is memorable too. Just watching the game movie on YouTube keeps you hooked 
And when you work for it, mission by mission, it feels even more rewarding to watch those awesome looking cutscenes and to follow the great written story. And if you're not an RTS fan, but love the Halo franchise and want to listen to a great story, just watch the game movie of this game and the second one on YouTube. You won't regret it. In Halo ODST, you don't play as Master Chief anymore, but as the rookie and more soldiers. The gameplay unfolds in the same way. Shoot waves of enemies, drive werehogs, shoot aliens. But the new visor that highlights enemies and friendlies is cool, useful and looks awesome. In Rust, the game has two new weapons, new music, a different story, and you can see a graphical boost from Halo 3 to this one. And one aspect I want to praise about the game is the atmosphere. The game felt cozy, even when it was pitch dark and I had to run through corridors with only a flashlight. And the yellowy sky made the game feel cozy. I know it's a war game and hearing the world to be cozy is weird in a war game. But hey, it's a good thing. I like this. I liked it this way. The game has charisma. The voice acting is spot on and the game has some occasional humor too. Halo Reach has in my opinion the best story. I mean out of all Halo games this one is the one I like the most. The story is about a squad of soldiers called the Noble Team. You don't play as Master Chief but it's the same awesome Halo experience. Plus that this game looks even more stunning. The graphics are better. Even if the gameplay formula is almost the same, they added space battles that feel different to other dogfight sequences you had in previous games. And this game too has some really memorable moments. If you like good stories in video games, I recommend you play this one. Halo 4 is interesting. It's different, while it remains the exact same. The content is more varied while the gameplay formula is the same. The game still revolves around shooting through waves of enemies till the credits roll. But as I said with previous Halo games, it doesn't matter that it gets repetitive. The awesome story and good gameplay keeps you hooked. And it's the same here too. You get new weapons, even if in their core they are pretty much the same as before. And you get new enemies and new locations. And the places you go are beautiful. As for the story, it depends on you if you like it or not. Master Chief wakes up and Cortana being an old AI starts to go crazy. Master Chief tries to save the day but gets rogue because some military commander doesn't believe him. And it's really hard for Master Chief to save the day with a crazy AI that can control his electronic surroundings, some military people that just don't want to listen and enemies all over the place. Halo Spartan Assault has in my opinion the weakest story and not only in Halo but for video games in general. Everything you see in the game is a simulation and since these events are only computer generated, they lose part of their charm. The gameplay is ok, it's dual stick based. You control your Spartan and shoot. The game requires some mild strategy to it. You can't just charge into enemies, but you have to watch for your ammo and enemy position. For Xbox standards, it's an ok game. It's not as fantastic to see the game on Xbox as it was playing it on a mobile phone because originally this is a mobile game and not an Xbox game but it was ported to the 362. Here the game feels rather like you don't know what to play so you give this one a try and the game ends up being ok but it doesn't give you real motivation to play more unless you're really bored. But as I said, even if the game isn't as surprising, like it was surprising to see it on a mobile, it still remains a good game. As a conclusion, I am amazed by Halo. Breezing through its menus, you can clearly see that the single player campaign wasn't the main focus of the game. 
but even if the multiplayer was the focus, they still managed to pull off some amazing and memorable stories. The gameplay is repetitive, you fight one wave of enemy after the other, but the story is well written and makes you forget about all of the repetitiveness of the game. And even so, even if the parts are repetitive, they are solid and such fun that you can get past the repetitiveness. The Halo games are great games. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.